Hello everyone. In this lesson, we learned vector operations using relational operators. So by the end of this lesson, you will learn how to perform relational operations on vectors. We learned earlier that these happen to be the relational or comparison operators that we have in R. So we have the description on the left of this table and the associated symbols which describes the operator being used for R for such comparison. So in relational operations on vectors, these return true or false depending on the relation or comparison being made. In a scalar relational operation, every element in the vector is compared to the scalar. And in this very example, the vector is being compared to the scalar 5 using the greater than or equal to relational operator. The first element 5 is indeed equal to 5, so R returns true for that comparison. So basically, R returns true if the condition or relational operation is satisfied or returns false if otherwise. In a vector by vector operation, every element in the first vector is compared to each corresponding element in the second vector and returns true where that condition is satisfied and false if that condition is not satisfied. So let's head right into RStudio and perform this sort of relational operation on vectors. In RStudio, we go ahead and create a vector by name. So let's simply call it vec object. And let's have some numbers which we are going to combine together like 4, 9, negative 10, 8, maybe 100. And execute this line of code. So what we're essentially going to do is we are going to compare every single element in this vector with a scalar using the relational operator. So for example, I could go ahead and say greater than or equal to 20. And if I go ahead and execute this, you can see that all returns false except the last item which is true because the only number in this vector which happens to be greater than or equal to 20 is actually the number 100. So that is why you see the result being here. It's a very simple kind of comparison to be made. I can go ahead and also say vec equals equals negative 10 and so it will return true if this condition is satisfied and false if it is not satisfied. Let's run one more and let's have not equal to nine. And if we execute this, where the number is not equal to nine, it will return true, but where it is equal to nine, it will return false. With vector by vector operations, I could go ahead and create the first vector, which I am naming as vec underscore one. And I will create a vector with, let's say four numbers. And then I will create a second vector. Let's call it vec underscore two. And let's also have the same number of elements in this particular vector. And if I execute these two lines of code and go ahead and do the relational comparison with these two vectors, like for example, I'm using the equal sign and I compare both of them, then it will return true where the corresponding pair of elements are the same. So in which case that happens to be the last number because the number six in the first vector is the same as the number six in the second vector in that relative position. So we can also perform relational operations, vector by vector operation for that matter. So we can go ahead and do greater than, let's say, vec underscore two and execute this. And it will return true where that condition is satisfied and false where that condition is actually false.